Today we'll be conducting an interview at Dana-Farber Cancer Institute with Mane, a pediatric oncologist who is currently training here with peers of peers alike. How are you doing today? Fine, thank you. How are you? Great. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, we'll be over the interview. We'll be. I'll be asking questions of all the moments leading up to this and and uh, hopes and goals after you have completed your training here at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. Let's start from the beginning of your journey. Mm -hmm. What has inspired you to go into medicine and later choosing pediatric oncology as your specialty? In childhood, I simply dreamed of uh, becoming a doctor, even throughout no one in my family working in medicine. I never imagined I would end up up in pediatric oncology. I initially applied to train in general hematology, but after six months, I fell in love with oncohematology, especially in pediatric uh, hematology and oncology. Uh, it felt like the right place for me. Very nice. Now, going back a bit, can you tell me about your childhood in Armenia and how it shaped your path in medicine? I grew up in a small border village in Armenia where life was simple and people lived like one big family. Everyone was uh, always uh, ready to help each other and uh, that spirit of kindness deeply influenced, influenced me. It made me uh, want to dedicate my life to helping others, which eventually led me to be medicine. Fantastic. Related to that, what are what were some of the biggest challenges you faced studying and working in Armenia? Uh, Armenia is a small post-Soviet country, has faced and still faced many challenges, especially in the healthcare system. But I have always been a determined person and I set goals and worked hard to reach them no matter the challenges. Looking back, I don't focus on the difficulties. I focus on how they help shape my strength and character. Now switching gears a little, what was it like moving from Armenia to the U.S. both personally and professionally? Honestly, uh, I have always believed and still believe that I should stay and work in my country. If I can contribute to developing my homeland, I will. Coming to the USA is not about leaving Armenia behind. It's just opportunity to grow professionally, improve my medical skills and eventually bring back knowledge back to make a difference at home. On a more personal note, how does the medical system in Boston compare to what you experienced in Armenia? Unfortunately, the medical system in Boston is very different from what we have in Armenia. I truly dream of seeing such a level of development in Armenia healthcare one day. But I am proud to say that our team, my colleagues and uh, many young specialists are working hard toward that goal step by step. As of now, what has your experience been like training at Dana-Farber? I feel like the luckiest person to have trained in different countries from low and middle income settings like India and Egypt to more developed system in Germany, Vienna and the UK. But my training in Dana-Farber is true, truly different. The level of organization innovation here is unique. And this training uh, has motivated me to return to Armenia and help progress the pediatric oncohematology healthcare systems and as a result develop the cell therapy service in Armenia. Very interesting. <clears throat> now this might be a tough one, but what are some of the challenges you face in pediatric oncology today? One of the hardest part is seeing the emotional and physical pain that patients and their families go through. It's never easy to watch a child suffer. But the patients who complete treatment and return home healthy inspire me every day. Looking ahead a bit, what goals do you have for your career in the next 5 to 10 years? My first and the only goal for the next 5 to 10 years is to develop cell therapy, especially pediatric stem cell transplant program, and also implement CAR T cell therapy. On a more personal note, do you see yourself staying in the U.S. after completing your training or do you hope to continue your work elsewhere? I plan to return and work in Armenia, uh, but 
I may travel abroad occasionally for specialized training or co collaborations, but my care will be best at home. Final couple of questions left now. What advice would you give to young students in Armenia who want to follow a similar path? Uh, work hard and believe in your dreams and uh, use every opportunity to learn to develop your knowledge. And to end off the interview, what are some things you miss about Armenia while living in the U.S.? Uh, I miss everything, the fresh air, food, and even the simple roots of my daily life. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Anka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.